So there's nothing wrong with it. But when you don't have... That's right. You have to come up with something. Yes. But you say, Pastor, weren't women treated like dogs in those days? Now, you tell me which of these women? Eve, like a dog, right? Sarah, like a dog. Moses' mother, Jacobin, like a dog. Deborah, like a dog. Hannah, like a dog. The argument doesn't make any sense. Miriam, a prophetess. Hulda, Esther, Queen. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Elizabeth, mother of John, the Baptist. Mary and Martha, friends of Jesus. He would frequent their household and eat out of the pot. Joanna, wife of Chosa. Hmm? Big position in Herod's palace. Susanna, money woman, Dorcas, good soul. Rhoda could hardly believe that Peter was free from prison. Eunice and Lord commended for how they trained of Timothy. And we have Priscilla first in the scriptures. Does that sound like, like God? No. So I would have to conclude that women were not treated like dogs generally. I can just imagine that in some cultures, men view women strangely and deny them some rights. And maybe in some years they were treated like dogs. But it's not a general thing. <laughs> Candace, Queen of Ethiopia. That sound like a dog to me. The queen of Sheba that came to Solomon, that sound like a dog. Not at all. The top women. Yes. With power, prestige. Are you still with me? Yes. yes. Luke chapter 8. Matthew Mark. Luke chapter 8. Verse 1 through to 3. Mm. And it came to pass afterward that he went through all every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stuart, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their what? Substance. So if you want to put it in our language, the ministry of Jesus was bankrolled by women. With money. Are you with me? And influence. Right beside Jesus. And though they supported Christ with their money and influence, he never ordained them as apostles. That's a fact. In Adventist Home 236, notice what is written. The minister, the who? Has his line of work. And the mother has hers. Did you get that? Yes. The minister has his line of work. And the mother has hers, which means the minister is a father. Unless. So if the minister is a father, the minister must be a man. Yes. yes. Come on. Come on, please. Talk the word. And then this home, the minister has his line of work. Yes. yes. And the mother has hers. Yes. Two different things. Yes. And if you should examine, as I would encourage you to do, the spirit of prophecy, you will always find these statements. I can't read all of them. I'm just going to give you the portion that is relevant to us. In Gospel Workers, she says, the minister's wife. Let me ask you. The minister's wife. Does that sound like the minister is a woman? No, no. If the minister's is a woman, and you say the minister's wife, what is that? No. Is the exactly. 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 
She says, when the wife of the minister accompanies her husband. Is that clear? Yes. Fix it, preacher. Some of our minister's wives do not know. Pastoral ministry, page 86. If the minister's wife speaks words, <laughs> what about the pastoral ministry? If the minister's wife, yes. any minister over the church, what's the other? Yes. Evangelism. If the minister and his wife can jointly engage in this work, Manuscript Release, Volume 15. She says, Elder Haskell and his wife. Yes. Elder Haskell is a Elder, yes. Elder Files and his wife. Yesterday afternoon, Elder Daniels and his wife. Elder Tenny and his wife. So the minister, a man, with married is a husband, maybe a father. It's true. Yes. I mean, look, not all ministers and their wives can have children. It must be a father. Are you And and when Paul was writing to Timothy, he Paul was not married. And from all that we know, it's likely Timothy was still a single man. Are you with me? But from all of what we have read, and by the way, if, if God was changing it, why didn't he, by the Holy Spirit, leave some counsels so that the husband and the minister can know what to do when the wife of their preach? Yeah. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit don't need no counsel to the minister's husband. Because no, no gossip. Amen. No, no gossip. Are you with me? All the counsel left in the spirit of prophecy, is for the minister and his wife. Amen. <laughs> this is life. In Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 1, verse 22. I want you to notice with me. Acts chapter 1, verse 22. Now Judas limited office. He had betrayed Christ. Right? Sold him out. And it was necessary for someone to replace him. As in heaven, so on earth. Notice verse 21. Peter is speaking. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John, unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. So Peter lays down the qualification, right? Must be someone who accompanied with us all the time. That the Lord was in with us when he went in and out. And it must begin from the baptism of John. And so they chose, when they heard all of that, two men. And by the way, Jesus' mother was in the room. John. She was there long before all of them with Jesus. Mercy. She was from the very beginning. But they never chose her. Yeah. Are you with me? They chose Two men, Matthias, verse 25, was numbered with 11, and verse 26 says, a minister, an apostle, and thereafter the Holy Spirit was poured out. And we can't get into all of that, but that was necessary. So historically, by precept and example, the collective inspired evidence does not support women functioning as priests, elders, or ministers. Yes. Am I telling the truth? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. And I think you'd agree, Pastor didn't bend anything, didn't twist anything. Straight. Mercy. Yes, preacher. 
Stay with me. Yes. Yes. In the Sabbath school quarterly, second quarter, 1934, page 10, where the quarterly spoke to verses in Timothy and Titus. Notice what the quarterly says. 1934, the second quarter, page 10. You can check the Adventist archives. I quote, the family of the one suggested for office should be considered. Are they in subjection? Can the man rule his own house with honor? What character have his children? Will they do honor to the father's influence? If he has no tact, wisdom, or power, of godliness at home in managing his own family, it is safe to conclude that the same defects will be carried in the church. In 1934, all they did, they didn't even use their own words, they just quote the spirit of prophecy. Yes. Volume 5 of the testimonies, page 618. Eli. Eli. When did husband and father become a generic term for both sexes? We did that, we did that pastor. 